Hey, what's up guys? Got a quick Eagle design tip for you here running on the latest version 9.1.1 and thought this would be a cool tutorial because I actually just went through this on another project. So this whole thing started out as a simple circle board outline. So I'm gonna grab the circle tool there, make sure we're on the dimension layer and draw our board outline so that the origin is right at the center of this circle click info on it and I'm going to set the radius to 36 millimeters and this is what I had and then somewhere along the way the request came in to lop the sides off of this circle and flatten both sides of it pulling it in by two millimeters so let me just draw some lines and sketch that up I'm gonna draw these lines on the T place layer for now just for reference so basically do something like that and since this radius is 36 millimeters I'm just gonna pull that in by 34 and 34 just like that and then also throw one of these over here and do the same thing on it at let's see 34 34 okay so that is what they wanted this board to look like so basically just go flat here on the circle on both sides of the board. Now if you're working with a tool like Visio or Fusion 360, probably you know every other CAD tool out there, you could easily take these two lines, the circle line and the straight line, do a trim on them and then delete the unwanted lines and then do a join. Uh, an eagle, not so much. Uh, so you have a couple options here. You could draw it out in one of those other tools and then export out a DXF, bring that in here, uh, run a polygon function on it and then create your board outline from that or what you could do is draw it out manually and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video which is basically what we're going to do is draw two lines and then draw two arcs okay that's a horrible drawing but that is what we're going to do in Eagle and in this video I'll walk you through all of the math in how to do that. So if you already know how to do that, you can go ahead and bail out on this video. Otherwise, stick around and we'll go through this step by step. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is just quickly change that uh, that circle to the T-place layer. Let's bring that box over here so that we will then just draw our new lines on the dimension layer and we'll keep these just for reference. And if we go back here to the hand sketch, uh, we have our origin right there at the center and we know a couple things about this There's a few unknowns and mainly the big unknown here is what this point here is at So we know that it's going back from the origin at 34 millimeters And of course we know that this circle here is at 36 millimeters from the origin It's got a radius of 36 millimeters. So if we draw a line from here to that point we know that that's at 36 millimeters, right? And then now it might start making sense. We have a perfect triangle right there, a right angle triangle. And there's a few different ways we can do that. But the first thing that comes to mind is to just do some quick trigonometry on this. So we've got the 36 millimeters. That is our hypotenuse. The unknown dimension of this triangle is the height right here. So we know though, that if we took 36 right there and then multiplied that by the zoom out a little bit and multiply that by the cosine of that angle we'll call it theta right now it would equal 34 millimeters and then we also know that if we took that 36 times the sine of theta that would equal the unknown uh, dimension in the triangle. We'll call that Y for now. So we have two lines there, uh, two unknowns in the second one. So let's first solve for theta and then we just plug it right into the second line and then we get our height. So pretty straightforward stuff there. Let's just do some algebra there on the first line. Basically all we have to do, let me grab another piece of paper. All we have to do there to calculate theta is, let's get that in focus, there we go. All we have to do is take that 34, divide both sides by 36, and then we're going to do a cosine inverse on that. Cosine 
inverse of that, and then that would equal our angle. So I'm gonna throw that into the calculator right now. Okay, cosine inverse of 34 divided by 36, and we get an angle of 19.19. 19.19 degrees. Okay, cool. Now we'll take that and plug it into the first line here to, or sorry, the second line to calculate that y. Okay, so we go 36 times the sine, and we'll just grab the answer from the previous line, and then we get a dimension of 11.83. So that is equal to 11.83 so we got it so now let's go back over to eagle here and let's adjust these lines now we're going to keep them both at minus 34 but now they span up to 11.83 and then minus 11.83 down ah so there you have it so now we have that line and it butts right up against our 36 millimeter board outline and we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing over here, 11.83 and 11.83. Nice. So let's actually go ahead now and move that to the, oops, move it to the dimension layer on both of these. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is use the arc tool to draw this part of the circle uh, connecting from the top side of both of these lines and then again from the bottom side of both of those lines. Now the one thing about the arc tool is that we need to give it an angle, a span angle, okay? Because we you know we've got, if we were to just draw an arc like, like this, it would span a full 180 degrees. But really we're not spanning a full 180, we're only spanning from this point to this point. So we need to t then take 180 minus these two angles here, which will be that 19.19 degrees times two. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll take 180 minus that 19.19 that we calculated times two, which is equal to 141.62 degrees. So 141.62 degrees, and that's what our arc is going to span across. So let's go ahead and draw our arc now. I'm gonna to go to the arc tool. We'll just draw it right on the dimension layer, and then our starting point and our end point, just like that. And now we can enter in the dimensions. So yeah, it starts over at minus 34 to 34, and then to 11.83, we're gonna draw the top side arc, so both of the y dimensions there are positive. And then right here, the curve uh, parameter is that span angle. And since we're on this top side here, and the way I drew that, it's a negative value, so it will be negative 141.62 that we just calculated. And let's, there it is, perfect, okay? And I'm just going to delete now that circle because we know it's good. And I'm going to copy now that arc, right click, flip it over, and then put it right there and confirm those dimensions, 34, 34, 11, 8, 3, 8, 3, perfect angle. And there you have it. Now we have that circle board outline with the sides flattened out. So anyway, thought that'd be a cool tutorial for you guys. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.